Hello everyone. For today's episode of Oracular Fantastical, we're going to be working with the card, the Butterfly Ferrets. The tagline, I am reborn. The image is the same in the Australian and the American editions. So once again, we have a card with a lot of things to tell us showing up. The first thing that the butterfly ferrets are sharing with us when they appear is the fact that we've just been through a time of great trial and upheaval and that now we're stepping into a space where, where we're walking into a new cycle of our life. And so we're therefore at a point in time where we're quite in some ways fragile and so there needs to be a lot of self-care involved. There needs to be a lot of self-care, um, meditation, communication with our spirit tribe is important for us, especially at this time when the butterfly ferrets show up. We're really at a time when we're just rediscovering who we are in our own strength. And so the ferrets are telling us that we are immensely powerful and, and that the fact that we've weathered this storm is incredible. But they're also telling us that this is a time when we need to know that we have to be aware of um, how other people are interacting with us and that that's not having a detrimental effect to our new growth and our new space that we've stepped into. So we're really in quite a powerful space, but we're in a very new space. And so it's about figuring out and negotiating how we're going to interact with the people around us while we've stepped into our power in a new way. So oftentimes we might discover that because we have changed inside and we've grown and experienced something that's helped us to realize what's okay and not okay with us, and what direction we're heading in, which is quite often a new direction, a new focus, leaving old work behind, um, old viewpoints behind, and now we're stepping into a much fuller, freer way of being. Um, the people around us, their buttons get pushed because we've changed. And so even if they don't outwardly see that, inwardly they know that we have changed and it has an effect on them. And so they start to kind of push back against us. And so it's a good time for, uh, mirror work and realizing that they're pushing against us is indeed a reflection of the work that we've done on ourselves, but also any self-doubt or criticism or fear we might be having inwardly that's still perhaps holding us back in some ways. So first of all, it's a very powerful, um, in some ways, blessing that they might be pushing up against us because now we're able to see what's really going on energetically for us and that we're putting out there and receiving back. Um, and it's also a, ver a time to really step in strongly into our power and who we are. Vincent's awake today. He's, he's playing on the floor right now, so you will hear him talking, my darling. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let me just go back to where I was. Yeah, so this the, the relationships with others and the way that they might be pushing us as we step into a new way of being is a mirror for us and it's an opportunity for us to become who we truly are. It's an opportunity for us to practice what we know about ourselves now in our new space. So be aware that people might be pushing up against us and push, trying to push our buttons and um, reacting to us and kind of unsure how to deal with the energy change that we have experienced recently. So if you're following this journey um, through this deck with me in order um, through the Oracle of the Shapeshifters, then you know that we've, we really have been through our dark night of the soul and we've been reborn with the Phoenix. And so now we are truly different beings and we, we are much clearer about what we want. So the ferrets are telling us, the butterfly ferrets are telling us that we're on our way to receiving what we want and what we know we deserve and where we actually want to be. And it's about now just breathing in this new space and relaxing and trusting that we're going to get there 
and not needing to know how we're going to get there, just trusting that it will be. And then watching it unfold to become what it will be, because the universe is going to be able to give us so much more if we don't try to control how we're going to get where we know we're headed to and where we want to be headed to. Um, a lot of the given meaning in the book is quite similar. Um, the divination aspect says you have changed and are at a very new stage with very little experience. While we celebrate you and your transformation, we are watchful. So we send you these alert, aware young ones to keep safe your borders while you find your feet, shake off the shock of birth, and set your new direction. You will be protected at your most vulnerable. You will not turn back. You cannot go back to the womb. You cannot go back to sleep. You cannot be as you were because you withstood the tomb of the cocoon and have resurrected in this lifetime. You are beloved, and we celebrate who you have become. So it's wonderful to know that there's the backing up of spirit here and your energetic tribe saying that they're protecting you and working with you and proud of you for stepping into this new space. And it's also encouraging to know that we cannot, in a moment of fear, step back into that old way of being because we've completely let it go now. Um, and so there's no going back there. There's no becoming who we were before. And this has been a life change and a, life, and a big change for us. So when the butterfly ferrets shows up for us in readings, even when it's not a time when perhaps we've experienced knowingly this huge change, in some ways we have created an energetic shift in our life, however small we might interpret that as being when this card shows up. So rejoice in the fact that you've made big, significant changes in your life. Celebrate that today. Um, take a break today and allow yourself to enjoy the work that you've done and to discover where you are and being grounded on your path right now and enjoying focusing on the taking of each step and not needing to control creating the picture of what you want um, the path to look like and what you want the end result to be. So again, really um, loving, kind magic today for us from the Oracle of the Shapeshifters deck and for this edition of Oracular Fantastical. And I thank you all for sharing this journey with me. Um, I would love to know what you think about the butterfly ferrets and what they mean for you when they show up in your divination work and in your work with others and your experience with this card. And um, we're getting really close to sewing now and I'm really excited. Um, this is my favorite Sabbath as it is for many of us. And um, I am just really, really excited to see what is going to come along with this, this beautiful time of year and what realizations we'll have and what we'll be able to let go of and step into fully and um, which ancestors are choosing to talk to us. I mean, they are so present right now. And um, they are really, really talking to us. And especially those in our energetic line are reaching out and saying that they're supportive of us in helping the earth life and the earth focus change by changing ourselves individually and by embracing our true energy and our authentic self on our own path. So many blessings to you. Uh, Mercury's in retrograde, so I'm wishing you gentleness and kindness for yourself and in your relationships with others. And... Um, Alchemy is going on right now, so um, beautiful things for us to open our eyes to and see. So I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.